Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, sorry, I had my headphones on and I was watching uh, a video on all the things happening. Uh, someone had sent me a link um, in the, I'm flustered right now because the Lord literally shook me so hard. Um, he's coming guys. <sighs> I can still feel the Holy Spirit. He told me to tell everyone to wake everybody up. Wake everybody up that there's no more time. There's just no more time. So I don't know what that means. So I have to go see my work again, uh, HR. And I was sending a video to somebody proving that God's prophecies are coming true. That is my job as a saint to warn people to warn people what's coming, that the door is closing. And this is not to fear mongle you or anything like that, but you know, the devil's going after me hard. Um, and I don't know what's gonna happen, but I have to be, I have to be obedient to God. So I already lost my church. You know, they asked me not to worship there anymore. It's okay, I love them and I don't, I don't have any any hate towards them. I bless, I, I, I pray that they get blessed and, and Jesus opens up everybody's eyes. Um, and I pray for my company too, my brokerage. <laughs> Guys, I love Jesus with all my heart. <sighs> but when God speaks, he speaks. And he literally shook me so hard just a second ago and gave me tongues. And I don't always speak in tongues, you know, unless the Holy Spirit comes on really, really strong and has a message. But it was like he was screaming at me to wake everybody up. He said, wake them up, my child, wake them up, my child, wake them up, my child. The door is closing, the door is closing. There's no more time, there's no more time. <sighs> That's what I heard over and over again. So I don't know if it's Purim. I don't know if it's in a couple days. I don't know. All I know is I'm being true to Jesus. Uh, and I, I'm not making any of this up. <sighs> well, please pray for me because, you know, um, I guess... Satan wants it to stop because he knows his time is short. So they're just going after me on everything. And I don't want anyone's help. I don't need help on finances or anything like that. So thank you. I appreciate people, uh, you know, emailing me about stuff like that. But uh, the Lord has blessed me. Um, I have more than enough. You know, he's blessed me in real estate. He's blessed me in so many things. Um so I will never ask for anything. I would just keep being obedient. Um, and I don't monetize or anything like that, guys. I, I just want to wake people up. It's not about anything else. Guys, when God speaks and he shakes you like that, and he shakes you, I was just sending out a video just to prove just to prove what was going on, that what he's been saying is coming true. And I'm putting everything on the line here. It's all my faith. You know, most, most of the world thinks I'm crazy. I'm so excited to see Jesus. I'm so excited uh, to be a part of the wedding party. I mean, what, a, what an amazing, amazing blessing that is. And um, I... I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm amazed right now, guys, because his warnings are final. His warnings are so final. So, I'm gonna pray, guys, I'm gonna pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that you, and then my clock just went off, my Jesus clock, and he does it every time, every time he confirms something. My grandma gave me that clock. Lord Jesus, I just pray. I pray that you wake up those souls. 
wake up those people that do not know you, Lord Jesus. I just pray that you wake them up. <sighs> Guys, I don't care what the world might think of you, okay? There's no more time. There's no more time. You tell everyone you know. You tell everyone you know to get down on your knees and pray and pray without ceasing and pray to the Lord Jesus because he is the only way. He is the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through him. He came, he came to earth as a man in the flesh and he bled his cross. He bled, his, bled on the cross for you. He died for you. And then he rose three days later. <sighs> but guys, when I'm just sitting on my couch and I'm just, you know, preparing for my meeting tonight because there's someone out there online, I don't know, some hater that just keeps messing with my life. <laughs> and I don't know who it is. Um, but that's okay. They can continue to do whatever they have to do because I'm not quitting. I'm not, I'll, I'll become a waitress again if I have to, you know. Um, I'm not gonna pick this world over God. So the people who do not think Jesus is real and he's not coming, you guys need to wake up, wake up because I have literally, I've literally given up almost everything for him almost everything because this world this world is passing by it's passing by and people they're in their bubble and i feel god's spirit right now so i'm crying not because i'm scared i'm not scared at all i'm not scared at all i'm so happy that jesus is coming but i am so scared for people do not know him because tribulation is going to be horrible and and there's still so many people scoffing and mocking and not believing what does it take for someone to believe literally what does it take pray just pray in Jesus's name that those people wake up that today they get on their knees and they pray. I want everyone to just pray today. Everyone fast today. You're not supposed to say when you're fasting. I did have my coffee this morning, but nobody eat today. Drink water and everyone get on your knees and pray. Pray for people who do not know him. Pray that the Lord opens their hearts. Guys, I don't know why God's chosen me to do any of this, okay? But I can't let him down. I can't. No one understands. And no one around me understands, okay? So when I say I've lost just about everything, I'm being honest. But, you know, there's some wonderful sisters in Christ out there, brothers in Christ out there that are spreading the same words. And you guys keep doing it. Keep being obedient. Even if you bring one person in, think about it. The, the angels are rejoicing in heaven. And that one person could bring in five people. And that five people could bring in ten people. And those ten people could bring in thousands. That's how it works. So do not be scared. Be bold. And tell the world that Jesus is coming. I love you guys. If you don't know him, you confess your sins to him. You believe in him. You walk in the spirit of Christ. There's no other way, guys. There's no other way. God is so good. God is so good. And pray for me today because this is getting annoying. <laughs> Having to talk to HR all the time. So, all right. I love you. Thank <laughs> you.